Hey there. I'm completing my Selenium related tutorials and I'm yet to cover Selenium ID or you can say Firefox add on for Selenium. This add on lets you pre produce scripts, create scripts, and run the scripts within Firefox browser. This ID is specifically designed for Firefox browser and in this tutorial we're gonna see how we can use this add-on first thing you have to do is download selenium ID from selenium HQ website the website is seleniumhq.org then click on download button or tab then you have this para called selenium id where you can find latest version link which is 2.5.0 you have to click on dot xpi link okay so once you click on it you have to click on allow it should download the add-on now it have bunch of the formatters for b python c sharp then add on and java formatter click on install now it will ask you to restart just click on the start after that firefox will open itself again as you can see firefox is restarted now our ID is installed. Now we will see if we have the firebug. On my computer, I already have it installed, and you can locate the get firebug add-on for Firefox in Tools, Web Developer. There you have firebug. Okay, so you have firebug. This is necessary for specific web related usage that you do in web based testing okay so now in order to access selenium id click on tools then selenium id this add-on will open okay so it's opening the release notes Okay, so what is new and what is not and all the stuff is mentioned here you don't have to read this if you don't want to uh, after that this is firebug page you can install firebug if you don't have it installed or you you can just go to tools add-ons and install either way is fine I have it installed so let's just move on to our add-on okay as you can see this is selenium ide let me just close this one so that we can get here sorry for the background noise that you are getting right now okay so this is the ide this is the base url text box and these are the buttons specific to running the test suit pausing it playing the current step after that there is also record button and follow up rules this is test case tab uh, whatever you are going to write or execute will have test cases listed here more than one could be found here and the commands whenever you execute certain steps it will be recorded here then target and value will be edited here and displayed here also log will be shown with failure or runs here reference your element and roll up these steps will open after the 
execution of a specific script. So let's take a look. Uh, we'll start with google.com as URL. Okay, so it shows one run. Now when we type it here, okay, first thing we have to do is click on record. So make sure this is running. For that, type google.com. Uh, it will take me to the Google India website. So there will be some issue with the domain. Don't worry about it. You can just edit the script for a particular uh, URL. And then type something like mm, one what comes okay so click here or just press enter it should show you computer one one and all that related to this page what we are going to run from here on is we are going to verify the page title click on right click on this page after that click on show all commands then verify title one on google search page here okay so our test script will execute these steps which is first opening the google.co.in after that clicking on search button after that right clicking on again then typing worm after that it should verify the title okay so let's Close this one and then execute our entire test suit. Okay, so click on this tab, it should open google.co.in. To that, next step should be searching for one. Okay, so we have one error here actual value Google did not match one Google search. Okay, so this error is related to the title whenever you are going to do the web based testing for website and verify the title of the page you will notice a search error because if you are doing even minor spacing related changes uh, etc then you will definitely find that uh, it shows some errors so what we have here, here is worm google search actual value google did not match worm so this is the error how to fix it if it is actually an error then we have to test at which step that error is found okay and after that we have to locate the error and uh, just report that error in our incident report this was simple test that you can do with selenium ide i'm sure you can come up with many other tests okay so this is asking me to save you can save this or even export this script for example export test case in ruby python java and c sharp if you want to export this script and next time you want to run it from your terminal then you can do so provided that you have selenium web driver installed okay so i hope you find this tutorial helpful and in in next few tutorials on selenium web driver and selenium python binding i will cover a few more selenium related examples thank you for watching bye